The pros are renowned for their aggressive, slammed riding positions, but of late, there's been an increasing trend towards the extreme. Now, when you consider that my bike is pretty slammed, and by that I mean there's a big differential between bar and saddle height, the same as when I was racing, and you compare it to the extremely aggressive position of Johan van Siel, you will know what I mean. Now, we talked to a few riders about why they seem to be taking things, position-wise, to the extreme. Look, I've had a little cheeky look at your bike, and straight away, that to me is a relatively extreme position. We know a lot of the riders now like their slam stem, like to get nice and low at the front, there's a real trend now for saddles being tipped down, whereas, whereas before, everyone was using the spirit level. So explain the benefits of that position and why you, why you ride in that position. Uh, well, I don't know. Well, I think before I had a pretty level up saddle, but now with this model, I put it a little bit more down. It's more comfortable when I reach on the drops. So, yeah, it just feels okay. Is it a position that's more like riding on a TT bike, do you think, as well? Because it does look a little bit like that. I don't think so because I'm not. Uh, I don't like to be on a TT bike, so it's definitely not that. So how, how long have you been riding in this position? Uh, since the beginning of the year when I got the saddle. The saddle, so yeah. Johan, there's a definite trend, isn't there, for riders to slam their stems in the pro peloton? But what we're seeing as well now is for the seat position to be really forward and quite often tipped downwards. Could you just explain this quite extreme position that you've got here? Yeah, sure. So what I like about this is I lowered my stem by quite a bit. It's, I think, up to two centimeters lower to what I had before. So obviously with your whole body being shifted forward, it helps if the seat is also a bit like that. So then your whole pelvis can also twist forward. So I find it more comfortable, don't slide around and I can kind of lock myself into that aero position. So how long have you been riding in this particular position? Um, after the season finished uh, last year, at 2016, then I thought that I would try something new because, you know, like every year you want something better, you want to be lower, more aero, faster. So I slammed on the, the down angle stem and I liked it, so I'm keeping it for now. So Kenny, we're seeing this real trend in the peloton towards, you know, very, very slam position, so very low at the front, but increasingly kind of extreme saddle tilting. But there's, that's not just a trend, that's not just fashion, is it? No, they, uh, they changed the rules. Uh, before it was like a three degree angle that you could uh, have on your saddle and now they changed it to nine. So that's a, mark a remarkable change. And it's yeah more visible now because three degrees you barely see. So what kind of advantage does this give the riders? Because looking at all the bikes in Dimension Data, most riders have adopted this new sl sort of slanted, more aero position. Yeah, moving it to the front and lowering down the tip like uh, it's also like uh, the saddle pressure is much lower then so and also give you a little bit more comfort and they have like an extra push point on the saddle just hunting around another relatively extreme position we've got here is John Dibbon of Team Scar and his Pinarello F10 as you can see saddle pointing in a rather southerly position slammed forward on the seat post and look at that for a negative inverted stem I said it's a 14 centimeter stem that is an extremely low position for John Dibbon. Another pretty slammed position. Seat-wise, look at Robert Hastings' position there. Slammed forward on the rails and pointing in a rather southerly position as well. So, there we have it. This isn't just a passing fashion trend, it's the relaxation of the rules by the UCI that is allowing riders to get into a more comfortable and aero position on the bike. That begs the question, will we see further relaxation of the rules in the future? What will bikes look like? Anyway, we'd love to hear what you've got to say in the comments section down below. Now, to subscribe to GCN, don't forget you can click on the globe. And for some more Abu Dhabi content, in particular, our look at crank length in the World Tour Peloton, click just down here. And for GCN versus Mark Cavendish with Lego, click just up here.